Hi guys, welcome to the studio. I'm Valerie. In this video, I am talking about one of my favorite subjects in design and decor, and that's fabrics. Now, there's a term I want to introduce to you guys. Well, maybe some of you have already heard the term, but for those of you who've never heard the term, railroading your fabric. This is what railroading your fabric means. Basically, you take the width of your fabric and you turn it into the length of your fabric. And therefore, your length of your fabric becomes the width of your fabric. Now, sometimes it is done because your fabric width may just be the right um measurement for your project so instead of doing all that cutting you just go ahead and switch it around so then you have your width becoming your length now other times you may just do it because the pattern and the fabric lends itself to a more aesthetically pleasing look so you decide to use your width for your length. However, there are a couple of things that you have to be mindful of when you are railroading your fabric. Make sure that the weave or the knit or the content of the fabric allows itself to a smooth finish because sometimes when fabrics are railroaded, they can actually pucker and puckering of your curtains especially on your edges it's not a good look so make sure that your fabric will be fine and will be without puckering when you railroad them however railroading is not a bad thing at all because actually you can railroad your fabric and you buy less fabric until next time please like share and leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and when you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos i'll see you for the next lesson